Henry Ford once said, the only real mistake is the one from which we learn nothing. An act in school hinges on the idea of possibility, of opportunity, of learning the unknown. And more often than not, that means being surprised by your own abilities, outcomes, and potential. To me, being part of an act in means taking on risk, having grand vision, and encountering failure often. Sometimes these surprises are unpleasant, but that's when you have to ask yourself the same question Steve Tomlinson asked Laura Sander for many years ago. Would you rather be right or surprised? What I want every owner and every guide to know is that sometimes it is surprises like these that add character to an act in. As Denzel Washington once said, if you don't fail, you're not even trying. And sometimes it is being surprised and even failing that makes room for true growth. I remember my first loss in a debate, my first rejected deep book, my first rejected apprenticeship email, and I remember feeling inadequate or incapable. What I also remember is my guide's support and encouragement, not just to keep going, but also to never lower my standards, allowing me to fail at times, look awkward, and even show up unprepared, only requesting that I reflect and improve next time. When a unique problem arises, One's first instinct is to solve it, to eliminate the issue and restore the peace in the studio. However, from the perspective of an act and learner of eight years, I can tell you that the greatest chaos creates the greatest learning lessons. It is within those moments of chaos that creativity flourishes, new solutions emerge, and growth happens. Trust in the process of, sorry, trust in the process of exploration and discovery, for it is within those moments and in the midst of disorder that the greatest insights are gained. And lastly, when the dust settles and the learners might be shaken, it is up to you to be there for them. A great act in is a place where learners can not only, as Mr. Sandifer says, fail cheaply and often, but also a place for them to reflect, learn, and grow from those mistakes. For it is not just failure that creates growth, but it is reflecting on it. And in conclusion, I feel that integrating manageable levels of chaos within an act in school is crucial for fostering substantial growth and development. Controlled disorder encourages creative problem solving and resilience among learners. And by embracing certainty and the occasional failure, you provide learners with the opportunity to adapt and innovate. Support them through these experiences to ensure they gain valuable insights and skills. Trust in the structured chaos for it is within those moments that the significant growth and learning occur.